Hey, what's up everybody? Pan here. So listen, happy holidays to everybody. For today's video, I decided to show a couple of clips and what made my decision and my love for getting the LG OLED C2. Now, anyone that's been following the channel has known that I've I had the Hisense UAG, still own that. So here's the thing. Um, I just have a couple of clips to show you guys. I've sent this to the Hisense team directly. The representative that I was working with behind the scenes, you know, we was in communication. Um, they still have my contact information, my number, my email. I still have theirs. And hopefully we can work together in the future. But um with the uag it was frustrating with the ghosting effect some people like to call it the rainbow effect <laughs> um black smearing uh however you want to slice it in this scenario but i'm going to show this first clip here and this is what i sent the uh, hisense representative directly through email so this is doom 2016 playing on pc um, 4k HDR up to 120 Hertz and you see when I'm moving the camera right here it's like this red you know ghosting effect I'm gonna play it again like each time I move and it was like that not only on this object but on the entire environment and moving the camera around you know she seeing this and then dealing with the uh, heavy motion blur effect that was on this uh, LCD with an LED backlight panel. It was just too much at the end of the day. The television was very nice when it came to just watching things like movies, TV shows, sports. When it came to gaming on certain titles, it was a hit or miss. Like, I didn't get this effect on all of my games, but games like this, yeah, it, it was pretty drastic. And once you saw it, you could not, like, unsee it, especially on The Last of Us Part 2. Crazy. But um, I'm still just playing the video so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. And this is on the U8G. Now, they have sent me quite a few firmware updates that I could um, install via USB of my television. It did not fix the problem. Um, I haven't had my UAG turned on since I got my C2 OLED. Um, I got a 65 inch, had the 65 inch of the Hisense UAG. I don't think a firmware update could fix this. Um, I believe I lost the panel lottery when it came to the Hisense UAG, specifically on the gaming side of things. When I'm watching my content with movies, 4K Blu-ray, 1080p, all that sports, regular TV, YouTube, the television was a beast. Um, I didn't see any ghosting effects or any of that craziness that you're seeing here. Um, outside of game mode and game me. So I felt like the television was solid in a lot of ways, but it's just that the negatives was like very, very like crucial in my decision into moving on. Um, continue this here. Yeah, I, I, it just comes down to the motion processing of the television. Um, Perhaps they did release another firmware update by now, but I haven't heard anything. Um, the U8H or the mini LED series that Hisense got, got going on is replacing uh, this model, which is the UA, uh, UAG. Show a different example. So this is Uncharted 4. Now this is when I was playing it on the PlayStation 5 at the time now naughty dog likes to be the the most cinematic um technicians like in the room and even when you turn off motion blur entirely 
on certain Naughty Dogs title, at least the ones I play, they, st they still give you that motion blur effect while you're in game. Now on a Hisense UAG, and I'm gonna play this clip now, you probably can't see it, but you just see like that after image, you know, that red or blue ghosting in those background mountains. I'm just moving the camera around um, but to showcase the effect, but it, it was like very odd. It was like making me nauseous. Like I, I could not play certain titles um, on the Hisense UAG because of this. And I did all the sort of hot fixes, things like that. Um, reset the television, ran the T-Con update for those of you that's aware in the AV community. Um, I did all that, and at some point, I thought one firmware removed it almost entirely, but then it's like once I lowered up certain titles, and it was happening on the HDMI 2.0 port or the HDMI 2.1 port. Um, these were just the videos that I've decided to record personally on my cell phone, because not every time that I saw it, I felt like recording, because honestly, I was pissed off, to be honest um just gonna keep it a buck you know hey it's but looking back on it um i knew ultimately where i wanted to be so for me with the panel that i have it will still be a nice television that i can set up in another room you know that's great for watching anything uh besides gaming you know, it is it, it would just be a television that I'm going to just hook up a fire stick up to and then update it, call it a day and enjoy my new beast of a television. The LG C2 OLED 65 inch man. I'm glad that I had the Hisense UAG because I realized where I had to eventually end up at. So there's always lessons to learn when it comes to this technology, especially when you're as hands on as me. I mean, you guys see the channel, you guys see what I do. I buy my products. I get my products for free. You know, I break them down as best as I can to the audience so that you can make an intelligent decision on whether or not this is for you or not. And we share the opinions on this channel, but I also report the facts. And I always give supplement information and links provided in the description so that you can further see into this and it can sort of narrow down the research on your end in some aspects. I always encourage everyone to do their own research. Of course, always been about that. And when it comes to buying televisions i think hisense is the best value you know i've seen some ridiculous um low prices on 55 inch 65 inch even good prices on 75. um i think hisense will be the, the budget king you know when it comes to televisions but it, it comes to that processing chip like that motion processing like once I went OLED, I can't see myself giving up infinite contrast, perfect blacks, motion clarity, um, just a near perfect in, in my eyes, um, HDR calibrated look in which everything just pops. I mean, hard to go back now, hard to go back once I saw that. And once I researched and did the things that were appropriate to get me to where I'm at today. So, you know, just want to share this information with y'all, you know, just a heads up. I know that a lot of the viewers or supporters that still subscribe to this channel, I was making a high sense videos and they probably still own the high sense UAG. Most of them probably won the panel lottery fully on gaming and non gaming things and they probably don't experience or have any of the things that I showcase in this video. And that's perfectly fine. The Hisense UAG didn't have that black smear or that ghosting or the rainbow effect that some people will say. 
would have probably never got an OLED, to be honest. Um, but I was working with them in the background, and uh, I didn't want to wait. I just said, you know what? I just got to go with the big boy. So that's what I did. C2 is the beast. So more videos coming soon. Hope everybody enjoy the rest of their Sunday. Um, I'm going to be working tomorrow, second shift, you know, back to the grind, man. I'm going to be looking forward to the Christmas holiday, things like that. Got a birthday coming up soon. I'm going to do a new setup video when I get my new OLED. So I'll, I'll touch bases in y'all, but what's that's about? All right. So next time, peace out.